Israel's attack on Gaza shows no sign of easing, despite reports that a ceasefire deal is moving closer. Bolivia says it will end relations with Israel because of its invasion of the Gaza Strip. Europeans are still waiting for Russian gas to arrive via Ukraine, even though Russia says it has resumed pumping. Start 2009 and, and Barack Obama crisis. is set to face daunting challenges when he becomes the next president of the United States. Hi there, welcome to Worldwide Watch. Egyptian officials say Hamas has moved closer to approving a 10-day ceasefire deal for the Gaza Strip. But as of Wednesday, Israeli attacks continued with the Palestinian death toll now surpassing 1,000. Wang Guan with the latest. The 19-day-old war in Gaza has showed no signs of letting up. The Israeli army says new airstrikes targeted hidden arsenals near a graveyard where many of those killed in the recent conflict had been buried. But Palestinian civilians continue to be caught in the crossfire. In the Gaza city of Belaia, injured children were rushed to the hospital, one ambulance after another, after another. It hurts when, when, you, when, you, see, uh, when you see these wounded people and, 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 and the type of wounds they, they have. And then I think that in addition, the number of people coming to these hospitals is, is, is increasing. On the same day, Israel allowed aid trucks with essential supplies to cross the border into Gaza during a three-hour hot in fighting. Among the vehicles allowed in were Egyptian ambulances and paramedics, taking seriously injured Palestinians to Egypt for treatment. The Palestinian death toll now stands at 1,017, with Gaza officials saying nearly half are civilians. And another 4,500 people have been injured in the conflict. Wang Guan, CCTV. Middle East countries have hosted diplomats from around the world in a bid to end the Israeli offensive. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon began his week-long Middle East trip, trip rather, in Egypt by calling for an immediate halt to fighting. He then flew to Jordan where he met with King Abdullah II in Amman. Ban will also visit Israel, the West Bank, Turkey, Lebanon, Syria and Kuwait. A Chinese envoy to the Middle East is also in the region. He'll be meeting with Israeli President Shimon Peres in Jerusalem. Later, Spanish Foreign Minister Miguel Moratinos met with uh, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert before talks with Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad. The diplomatic push came as officials reported late on Wednesday that Egypt and Hamas are close to a 10-day ceasefire deal with Israel. A French foreign minister, Bernard Kushner, says France is ready to talk to Hamas, but only if the Islamic militant group renounces violence. France currently only has indirect contact with Hamas, which the European Union lists as a terrorist group. Kushner said th that uh, talking with Hamas is a key part of international efforts to stop fighting in Gaza. Speaking at France's National Assembly, he said France is ready to start an official dialogue with Hamas if it recognizes Israel and accepts previous peace accords. Kushner expressed hope that international pressure for a Gaza ceasefire will start to uh, take effect over the next few days. Uh, Kushner also said France is in talk with Iran in a bid to indirectly pressure Hamas into halting attacks on Israel.